Hi, we just checked in. They said they ran out of uh, lanyards, so they just gave us our badges, and we're gonna go look for our boot now. Let's go look for our stuff. Okay, we found our booth. We're all the way at the front over here. Um, for some reason, they only gave us one table when we applied for two, so I had to go request for another one real quick, but that should be a pretty easy fix. All right, now that we got all of our stuff in, it's time to set up. This time, I was in the dealer section, so I did get a 10 by 10 square boot space, and in it included one eight foot table. I also, purchase an additional table for this setup so that I could have the pink and blue tents this time. And all in all, it took us about an hour and a half to put everything together. Okay, and we just finished setting up. So let me show you guys. So this is the side right here. It looks crazy in the back. <laughs> On this side, I have a shelf of my tumbler cups and glass cups. And then I have the pink tent on this side where I'll be sitting. It's pretty much the same format. I have um, some keychains over here. Um, I have tote bags hanging up top, some tumbler cups, glass cups, and some supplies in the back. And it looks kind of crazy. We brought our own chairs today and we, we're using our bins as like a little makeshift table for now. Then on this side is where we have all of the plushies. So. Yeah, we got to spread them out and make like a wall of plushies and we have some baskets of the smaller ones here. Some keychains. Let's scoot those forward. Oh, okay, and then we have some more plushies on this side too and Marine. So that's our entire booth. Okay, so it is two o'clock. We've pretty much finished setting up and I'm just kind of walking around the convention center. I believe it's gonna open for the VIP people at 2.30. <laughs> okay, so it is 2.37 right now. They just opened the floor to the VIP guests. So far, it's been silent. I haven't seen a single person walk in. But it looks like the other vendors are still sending up. So I guess we just finished a little bit early. But the show should open for everyone at 3 o'clock. Friday actually started pretty late. I think it started between like... 2 p.m. to 7 or 8 o'clock so it was very short for a weekday and it was alarmingly slow i think in total i probably had like maybe 15 people come to my booth all together so it was a little bit scary on friday but i promise it does pick up <laughs> Okay, so it is 5.51. It's been about three hours since the show opened to everybody. It's been really slow. I haven't had much to report, really. It's been, like, almost empty for the past three hours. But I am hearing that it sounds like it's starting to pick up a little bit. So hopefully it'll get a little bit more full. So I made these sticky notes right here. So whenever I have one last item or sold out, it's easy to label. I only have one more of the Blue Gamer Cup. It was really popular today. I know. I'm not doing a good job vlogging, but I'm trying. Oh, last one. My mom got me these cute little plushies for my booth neighbor, Fuji B. Look how cute these little cherry bears are. They're so adorable. <laughs> I love them. I've been eyeing these. And I also got a little keychain. So cute. Thank you, Mom! <laughs> Alright, it's 7.43. It's almost the end of the con. We have about 20 minutes left. And this is pretty much what my booth looks like. It more or less looks the same. To be honest, I didn't really do so well. <laughs> it could have definitely gone better, but I mean, it's only Friday, so I think it'll definitely pick up on the weekends. Cons are always slow on weekdays. But the uh, Blue Gamer Cup has done really well today. Actually, better than I had expected. I only have one more left of that one. And then today, the Ghost Cups and the Pink Gamer Cups were pretty popular. And then we put a little cover on our table just to make it a little prettier. And the plushies did okay. Um, I hope that they do a little bit better tomorrow, but most of the vendors had a consensus that it was pretty slow. And a lot of people said they only had like two or three sales the entire day. Mind you, we've been here from 3 o'clock to 8, so I'm a little bit concerned. 
but hopefully things go a little bit better tomorrow. We have two more days left, so let's finish off strong. All right, so it is 8.10. We just finished closing up the shop today, and we're gonna come back tomorrow. All closed up for today. All right, it is 8.12, and we are leaving now. made it to the convention center and we're gonna go ahead and open our shop for today so now it's saturday morning we came about an hour early so that we could uncover our shop and fix little things here and there to be honest we were really worried after friday being so shockingly slow but we're hoping for a better day today all right so it is 9 33 they just opened the floor to the vip and then they're gonna open the floor to everyone at 10 o'clock so far, it's pretty quiet. Uh, it's mostly just vendors walking around. I got to talk to a lot of the vendors. A lot of them were pretty disheartened as of Friday. Most of them said they only made like one, two, maybe three sales. I had a friend that only sold like two stickers yesterday for five hours, so that was fun. Hopefully today will be a little bit better. If you couldn't hear from my sarcasm, um, I was clearly agitated since Friday went so terribly. I think all in all, I had maybe 20 people visit my booth for five hours of working on Friday. And I wanna say more than half of them were just other vendors walking around because there were just no customers. So a lot of vendors were pretty down as was I. However, Saturday definitely took a turn. Um, it definitely picked up and the crowd was much much better than friday which is of course expected um weekends tend to do better than weekdays when it comes to convention crowds of course because that's when people are off but overall friday was just really terrible it's never a good sign to have more vendors than customers especially when there was only 60 vendors to begin with so yeah it definitely picked up though at least Saturday was a smidge better. I loved everyone that came to my booth. Um, a lot of the customers came with such a great energy. I love to see when people react to my booth and say, oh, this stuff is so cute, or they come with a big smile on their face seeing the cutesy creation. So it's definitely worth it seeing you guys, meeting my followers, my friends, and other artists. It's just so much fun. So Saturday was a lot busier, and I was really happy with it. Go. <laughs> it's very shiny. Now we got some new hair accessories. I got my mom this crown she's been eyeing. Doesn't she look so pretty? Yeah, I got this cute little beret from my friend Marina. I met her in the artist alley. Look at it, it's so cute. Details. <laughs> Are you demonstrating your crown? It's so shiny, it's reflecting on my camera. I did want to pop in to add, um, during the little vendor meeting, um, they did report that there was about 400, 500 people that arrived for Saturday, which is still extremely small, probably like the second smallest con I've been to, but a much better improvement than the less than 20 people on Friday. So you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Okay, so it's about 5.50. The show has definitely improved. It did a lot better today than it did yesterday. I want to say I probably sold a little bit more than half of my cuts, so I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, there is a bit of confusion um, on their badges and on their website. They said the con was going to close at 7 o'clock. It's currently about 5.50 and they just announced that we're going to close in 10 minutes. So I guess they're closing this show a little bit early. All us, us vendors are a little bit confused about that, but it's okay. We're going to go ahead and close up early for tonight. Okay, so this is the result for today. The cups did so much better than yesterday. I think I sold about maybe like 70% of them, so I'm pretty happy with that. Everything on the table is the leftover of my back stock, so there's nothing else I have left except what you see here. I have a bunch of last ones. I sold out of a bunch of my gamer cups too, so I'm pretty happy about that. On this side, the plushies did a little bit better. Um, it looks like the bottom plushies were the most popular, especially the soot sprite one that was over here. And then we scooted our little plushies on this edge. The hats are really popular too. They're usually a fan favorite. 
at the cons. And then, oh my gosh, people really love the Jack Skeleton King and the Coraline. We actually sold um, all of them except one Coraline plushie, so it did really well. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with Saturday. It was still pretty slow, but much better than Friday. Alright, we just finished closing up the shop, and we're gonna go ahead and head back to the hotel now. The tiara. Alright. <laughs> And we're all close for today. Do you like my mom's crown? She's sparkling. <laughs> Alright, and we are leaving now. Okay, it is 10.04. We are here at the convention center. We're gonna go ahead and reopen for the last day. And now it's for the last day, Sunday, yay! <laughs> yeah, I was pretty disheartened. Um, Friday and Saturday were really rough for me, as well as a few artists. I had a couple art friends come over and I had a few actually cry, which is kind of astonishing. I'd never had a con do so terribly considering the price. But anyway, this is my friend Colors of Cosplay. You guys need to go follow her. She's so talented. She makes really cool animal cosplay ears, tails, and accessories. So go follow her on Instagram at Colors of Cosplay. Okay, so it is about 10.40. They just opened the floors to the VIP people and I just finished setting up. So let me show you what I have right now. So this is what I'm working with. This is the remainder of my cups right here. I have about like a third of my stock left. And then I just fixed up the cup display in the front. Plus she's doing a little bit better today. Uh, my friend Colors of Cosplay came and she got a strawberry cow. She's so sweet. But yeah, we have one more little soot sprite too. Sunday blew me away. It did so much better than the previous few days. So finally some good news. Um, it was a drastic difference um, how much better Sunday was actually. Um, they had like a little vendor artist alley meeting with the staff and they reported that only 600 people came for the first two days. I don't know how many people came on Sunday, but it was just so much better. And a big factor was um, they were having like a renaissance fair on Saturday or something and then it got cancelled on Sunday due to the rain. It was raining outside which meant a lot more people came to the convention center so it made a huge difference on the crowd levels surprisingly. <laughs> Your Highness, I am leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> it's 138. I get to finally kind of chill a little bit and walk around the artist alley and say hey to some of my friends. So let's go. Today is a lot more crowded than yesterday. I'm really happy with it actually. I would say Sunday is better than Saturday and Friday combined. Okay, and then this is the artist alley section over here. I actually applied for the vendors this time. Yeah, it's a pretty decent amount of people. I'm really glad it's trying to fill out because it was so empty on Friday. Cute. There's the loading dock, and then when you switch all the way around, this is the entire venue. Let me see if I can show you guys. Okay, so this is the entire room. It's short, but it's long. So this back area is the artist alley. Over here is my friend shop, Marina Studios and Moshi Melon. They are so awesome. You guys need to go follow them. Uh, she's actually the one I got the beret from. And the artist alley was so cool. Everyone was so talented. It's cool to see like all the different artistry and creations people have here. Loads of talented people. I want to say half of the convention was just artists. And I had such a blast going through these. <laughs> That's awfully generous. 
Tschüss. so much to the guy that bought all three of my mystery bags. You're awesome! And thank you, Thean, for bringing your friends to support us. You're the best! We got this super cute phone case from Fujibi. Oh my goodness! I can't get enough of her stuff. It's so cute! This is it for day three. Let me give you guys a very quick overview. The pink table did pretty good. Um, this is what's left of my cups, which is not very many. Um, I put my tote bags here just to fill up the spaces because we completely like sold out of so many designs. And then this is the remainder of my keychains. They did okay. The cups did really well today. I think I sold out of maybe like 15 designs. So I only have like four or five designs left. And then I actually sold out of my strawberry cow tote bag too. Then on this size, the plushies. They did pretty good. Um, we sold so many Kirby's today and soot sprites and calcifers and Sailor Moon and Nezuko, so they did so well. And then on this side, the hats are really popular too. People love the cinnamon roll and the pom-pom put in hat. Coraline did amazing. She was so popular this weekend. And then we actually sold out of our mystery bags. Thank you so much, Dan. Yeah, and then this is what's left of our plushies and the entire booth. They went pretty good. All right, we have about five more minutes until we have to close, and we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning up a little bit. We're almost done cleaning up. We're just packing up all the last minute stuff and then we're gonna head out. Okay, it is 4.47. We pretty much finished cleaning up and we're gonna go ahead and head home. And that's it for my Anime Town Greenville con vlog. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Overall, I definitely had a hot and cold experience. Um, I had heard in pre the previous first show did a lot better than this one, so perhaps this convention was affected by the timing, not so sure. Friday and Saturday were straight up terrible for me, but Sunday definitely made it for me. It was incredible on Sunday. Um, I'm a little bit torn if I would return to this one or not, but overall it was a pretty good experience if you made it to the end. Comment below a dog or puppy emoji. I'd love to know the super cool people who watched the entire video. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!